I bet you noticed that some moments drag endlessly and others vanish in a blink. For example, you wait for an email or message and every minute feels heavy, but when you're doing something you love, time melts away. Suddenly, the day is gone. The fascinating part is that it's not time itself that changes. It's your brain's perception of it. And neuroscience shows that our experience of time is woven through a few key areas in the brain, the prefrontal cortex, insula, and basal ganglia. They work together to track change, emotion, and attention. When you're anxious or bored, your attention zooms in on every second. The brain's internal metronome speeds up and it feels like time is crawling. But when you're fully immersed, laughing with a friend, painting, solving something challenging, your brain chemistry shifts. Dopamine and norepinephrine rise and the prefrontal cortex, the part that constantly monitors you and the world, goes quiet. That's why in flow you lose yourself and time disappears. So really time is emotional. When life feels heavy or dull, our inner world slows it down. When we are alive with curiosity, joy or purpose, time expands beautifully. Think about the moments you cherished the first time you held someone's hand, a sunset that stopped you in your tracks, your first kiss, the laughter that made you cry. Those were not just memories. They were moments where you, your brain stopped measuring and started experiencing. That's the secret we're not, that we're not victims of clock of the clock. We're its composers. And if you catch yourself feeling trapped in slow time, try softening your focus. Breathe deeper. Shift your attention from waiting to being. Engage your senses. The smell of your coffee, the sound of the wind, the pulse of life moving through you. Your brain recalibrates with every bit of awareness you bring. That's neuroplasticity. The ability to reshape your experience simply by shifting your state of mind. You can't stretch the hours in a day, but you can make every moment feel wider, 